What's good, y'all? It's your boy Cyber Sonic Tista. Welcome to, welcome to the DM Podcast. You know who hey. it is, man. We got a queen up in the building, mm. upcoming queen in the building. Mm. Uh, Indigo Stella, what's happening? I'm good, man. How you doing? Okay, first of all, let's talk about the swag. <laughs> I miss with that. I miss with that Space Jam. Yeah. How did you get that? Where did you get that from? Great, man. Great, great. Okay. Africa. They have like a crazy collaboration with Space Jam. Okay, cool. Um, shout out to to Zaid. Um, Osman, yeah, he owns Grade. Oh yeah, I know Zayd. Zayd, the yeah, sneaker exchange. Yeah, exactly. Yes, Zayd, Zayd, my yeah. nigga. Zayd, my nigga. Yeah. Oh, they go hard with the sneakers and the fashion. They go crazy with yeah. everything. Yeah, with everything. Yeah. yeah. So what's happened? How did you? How did you link up with him? How did? Man, I don't even. I think. Oh, I think through a Fubu campaign. Okay. So they collaborated with a Fubu campaign, and they they as you a model it. for them. Okay. Um, in that campaign, so that's when I actually got to know him. Are you good with brands? You got Puma, Fubu. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you trying to get, get that yeah, check? Yeah, she yeah, has yeah, that bag yeah, now. Yeah, 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 you yeah, trying to you yeah, trying to get the bag for real? But how did the Puma collaboration happen? Like, what's up with that? Oh man! How do you even get that? How do you get in the room to have those conversations? How did Puma happen? Oh, I think it was probably through sports. So you gotta connect that sports scene even. Yeah, you yes. have to put me on. You I think put me on. I think we yeah. might need to talk to Indigo for the connects to whoever <laughs> <laughs> they're pushing the buttons. Yes, sir. Indigo, um, you've been at this. You know, um, the debut single Flexing came out. You crushed it. <laughs> when did you when did you know that you were you were really you were really for this raps thing, man? I've been on like since I was a kid. Since I was like nine. Yeah. You no, know, in primary school I used to have like a group of friends and yeah. just like rap make little cute little raps yeah. and then people would laugh and stuff but it, you know eventually it, 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 it made sense yeah. you know for me at least yeah yeah. so I knew ever since I was a kid that I wanted to do this but then at what point were you like fuck it I'm taking a professional well I didn't actually have that mindset so the way I started because I always wanted to record mm. but the way I started was because I didn't have like the equipment and everything so I just had my brother's laptop. I got free loops and I got like earphones, right? And you know, like the mic on the earphones? Mm-hmm. That was the first mic I ever used to record. Okay. So that's how I started recording my first songs. And then my brothers, who are recording artists, um, back home, studio opened up and I had like that, you know, okay. that opportunity to record with like proper studio equipment. So that's how I got into like professionally, I guess, yeah. recording. Yeah. Yeah. But. I mean, I always knew I wanted to be a professional artist. Yeah. Who was the first person to tell you you're whack, though? Tell me I'm whack? Yeah. Probably some kids at school. <laughs> <laughs> Probably some kids were at they, school. Were they the last people to tell you whack? No. You know haters grow as you grow. <laughs> as you grow, your, your, your hating base grows, your fan base grows. Yeah. So people still out here, but I have more fans than haters, honestly. Thanks to that. Music genre, when you hear, you skip immediately. You're like, nah, I'm not trying to hear this bullshit. Probably screamo. <laughs> screamo. You know that 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 that, that 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 um, it's not rock, but it's like that that annoying like. So white that people shit. Music. Hey, I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. Was a crowd. I didn't say that. <laughs> Let's talk about the, uh, the mixtapes. Yeah. Um, who, who, like, how did that? Pro- how did that? How did that? That that work ethic come about, man? Um, man, I've always just had it. You know, the passion. It's really yeah. just about passion and wanting to go further in life. You know, yeah. Just um, having a drive, a certain drive, and a certain goal. So that really drives me, and, and it, it makes me work every day. You know, to perfect yeah. my craft. Yeah. Uh, that's the job. Um, the wildest shit you ever heard about you on on, on, on the internet. Ah, let's get let's get it straight. This is my DMs poor card. You know what I mean? What was the last thing that made you cry? And that you saw online? What was it? Oh, what? Um thing is I don't I don't cry at what people tell me online. Come on now. I really laugh at it though. Like you can ask my manager, like I'll show him something and I'll like like die laughing. But I'll never really cry mm-hmm. about anything. I cry about serious things, you know. Okay, okay then the wildest shit you've heard. About me? Yeah, about yourself on the net. You're like, man, that's some wild shit. Um, jeez. That's like a... I have to think about that. But people do, like, assume I'm from certain places I'm not from. Like what? Like, like what? Places? What places are you from? I'm from? I'm from... And I, I like it because I'm just like, oh, yeah, yeah. Assume what you... You go like that. Tell us. Tell the people. assume I'm from Cape Town. I'm from Durban. But I'm a, I'm a Jersey kid. You know? Okay. Born and raised. So. Where in Jersey, though? Um, we moved over. The thing is, we moved, I was born in, like... Um, Johannesburg Hospital, but we moved around 
like as a kid. So I've lived like almost everywhere in Africa. Really? Yeah. And we're so in Africa, like literally. Can let me not let me not because <laughs> people take things literally. Like mm-hmm. Botswana, Zimbabwe, Zambia, South Africa. Was that because of your I dad, your mom? What was going on? Why were you moving around? Um, my dad was a musician, so he traveled. My mom, um, she. And it's probably it's probably because of my dad actually. Yeah. 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 Your dad was a rock star. What type of genre? He was, a rock. He was a gospel singer. As a gospel Are you singer? serious? Oh, yes. yeah. gospel so when are you when are yeah. you going droop droop on us? Yeah. On some Jim yeah. you know you gotta <laughs> change in the hip hop people very soon. <laughs> nah, no, man, I don't know about that one. Eh? Would you ever live hip hop for, for 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 gospel? No. <laughs> no. Okay. I don't. I don't like. I tried gospel hip hop when okay. I was young. For real? Like Lecrae. It just. It's cringe. Like it's very like Wait. Lecrae, but okay. it's very cringe. It's very cringe for me when I do it. Okay. Uh, it was bad. What things? What things? What things do you understand about the game that other rappers around you just don't understand, regardless of how much you keep telling them this shit? Uh, <laughs> um. Jeez, the thing is, I don't, I don't know what people think. Like, I don't, I don't talk to a lot of rappers like that, you know. And normally, when I do, we're all on the same page. Like, we all have the have similar mindsets. Yeah. But it's not, a, it's not. A, I can say for upcoming artists, something they don't understand is that it's not an easy game. Like, people think, oh, I just come, I'll just be a rapper. And, but there's so much to it, you know. Especially if you're independent, like, there's so much that goes behind pushing yourself behind um the music behind um the videos just everything in general it's a lot you know and it's hectic so if you really want to do this you have to be passionate about it talking about that indie lifestyle um you you were signed once upon a time 2019 maestro records (laughs) and you kind of did your own thing um what are fucking up the money Nah. What happened? <laughs> nah. It was just it was because you just up and differences left. In, differences in 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 goals, I guess. Um, I don't want to really like bash them. So I'm nah, nah, nah. Keep talk. it real. It's my I'm podcast. Not, I'm not go, keep I'm it not real. Say what really happened, but I'm just gonna keep it very um vague. Yeah, it was just differences. Nah, in, I don't keep it vague. Why you want to keep it vague? Nah, I don't like talking people want to know. The fans want to know. You people want to know. <laughs> Nah, we're not gonna let you right, since, since obviously you signed to yourself, you know, like yeah, it, it yeah. takes a lot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you were signed. It means maybe when you got your first contract, you're excited. Mm. You thought that everything is now pushed to start. Yeah. So, to to anyone out there who does not understand what it takes, you know, yeah. you're just an excited kid. You're like, nah. I'm signing this thing. And signing to a label? Yeah. And then yeah. the journey through that to yeah. the point where you have to leave. Yeah. Can you break that down? Not to bash it, but just break that down. Emotionally, how the chain you take you, like what it, your expectations. I mean, if you want to sign, it, it, it just depends on the deal you have, you know, um, as an individual. And for me, it, it's just a thing of like, I feel like when I, when I'm, when I'm independent, I have a better drive, you know? I, I feel like I'm not relying, I'm actually independent, you know? I'm not relying on anyone for anything. I'm doing this, not by myself, I obviously have a, a little team that, that we put together, but um, we don't have a label backing us, and that makes us push even more, you know? And it makes the accomplishments even better. But if you do want to sign, um, it just depends on, on, on the deal you get, and I guess like, what position you're in but that was a learning curve for me you know i don't i don't sit here and say i wish i never signed i never signed. you don't take you took that as like a lesson you take of course things everything grind. in my life is a lesson like i never take anything as an like a, an l like a loss everything is a lesson indigo here's the thing right there's a lot of young upcoming rappers looking at you yeah. bravo you next in line legit that's why you got nasty and naughty and all them you know the people the game needs to understand what what about that situation specific? It could just be one mm-hmm. that you were like, nah. Nobody just leaves a situation and like fuck we it. We still talk about the well, No, no, I just want I just, no, just one aspect. You yeah, don't, you yeah. don't have to, you know. About that. just one aspect that that made you like nah? Because here's the thing: yeah. the game needs to understand. You yeah, represent yeah. a whole generation. People need to understand. Like it's independence, really. Like I, like I said, like sometimes you just want to be able to control your own things. You know, um, when you sign to a label, you don't have a lot of control. So for me, it was a thing of I just want to be able to 
have a good like a, a very solid say in the things I'm doing and anything that goes wrong that's on me and anything that goes right that's on me so kind of like um, <clears throat> a, 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 an, an 18 year old leaving the house you know what I mean for the first time yeah yeah I mean you could say that that's your independence you, know? <laughs> you, could, you could put it that way I guess yeah and how's independence how, is it expensive it's, is it cheaper <clears throat> it's expensive but it's awesome who's funding it me Okay. Me and, and my manager. Let's like, talk about the team. All females oh, team. Is like, bag now. <laughs> the manager's a, is gonna Let's bag. Let's talk about the team. Uh-huh. Like, is, is it an all female or? No, 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 I saw your manager good. outside. Shout out to my yeah. boy. Like, so wh- yeah. how did the, how did the whole team come about? <laughs> um. So yeah, we met. I met my manager in 2019. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I met my video team 2020. Shout out to her. Yeah. Shout out to her and and and, and um Stanley Southside. Yeah. Um, and I have my producer as well. He's not here, but my engineer and my producer, Casual and, and Explosive Beats. Yeah. Um, that's literally it. Like we don't. People think like there's like a whole team behind mm. what we're doing, but it's mm. literally just like it's mainly Steezy and I just on everything. Um, <laughs> literally everything. But the video team is there. Um, Tulu Static. Um, my DJ Explosive with the production. You know, helping me mix my songs and, and master my songs. When there's tension in the crew, how do you cut the bullshit? We talk communication. Okay. I, we always, I always say this. I'm big on communication. That's something that actually ruins relationships. Yeah. And it's ruined a lot of my previous relationships. So you learn. Okay. And then you communicate. Have you ever had to fire somebody like, nah, you're out the team? Uh, even after talking, nah. like, this, you just don't get it. Nah, I think, nah. So everybody say for now. Yeah, like everyone should we talk we talk it out like that's what makes us family you know yeah. we talk it out and we, we come to an understanding and, and that's what makes us family yeah. and I appreciate that when you say communication because um, obviously with the team I would say yeah. when someone is addressing something it doesn't necessarily mean that they're throwing shots yeah for you sure. need to be able to understand sure them in mm. their shoes and they don't understand you and your shoes their personality as do you well. know what i mean energies as yeah. well yeah different people different traits exactly exactly so what's up <laughs> yeah that's what's up so what's up? <laughs> <laughs> three artists mm. in the game mm-hmm. south africa when they drop a song you need to download that record <laughs> besides nasty and nadia <laughs> <laughs> oh that's hard that i don't listen to a lot of local music a lot of rappers say that it's because it's true like you can hear my sound i, I don't listen. you know what are you saying I'm, they're I'm, whack though like no i'm not saying they're whack it's just not my my vibe so, no no no, 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 no. <laughs> different different strokes for different folks okay it's, it's true. just not my vibe you know okay right. who you right. listen to overseas then three artists young thug drake um one more one more let me see let me see Ooh, young thug drake there's always there's always that one that you can't think of when i ask you three um Young Thug Drake, probably let me think of a singer. Probably um Chris Brown. Chris Brown. Yes, you got that you got you got a bit of a drill thing going on. There was a couple of records I heard that yeah. that London, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Aren't you afraid that you might disconnect with your fan base in South Africa or in Africa? Nah, they all vibe. Okay. Like, it's it's fine. Okay. I don't I don't I'm not right now where I am in my career, I'm not worried about like focus on a certain target target market everyone's telling me you should focus on this sound focus on but i'm just i just want to make music yeah and whoever vibes vibes okay don't worry about that. That's, that's bad. bad. That, that, that's just. Look, let's put, let's put it. No, no, no. We, we need to put that on the underground gang. Like, they're, they're working overtime. They're not working overtime. You keep going. But yeah, yeah. I, I don't really, I don't really right now because I'm still young. I'm still, I'm still experimenting with sound. I mm-hmm. don't want to have one sound and, and and create one fan base. I want to okay. reach as many people as possible. Okay. You know, so that Joe thing is fire. I bring it out when I bring it out. Yeah. It's a vibe that I bring out when I'm vibing. Yeah. Know? Um, but yeah, everyone likes it. SA, England, America, they all vibing. Okay. Yeah. Um, sound, experimenting mm-hmm. with sound. Mm-hmm. I love that. The collaboration with Nadia. Who puts that together with Nasty? How do, how do you get those two? Me. Damn, girl, you just DM, like literally. <laughs> really, for real? Support yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. like there's no label that's why I like being independent because okay. I can say normally people be like nah the label didn't which label it's me nah. yeah it's me I I have yeah they vibe with the music and it's also them let mm. me not just put mm. it's them like vibing with me 
and and being humble enough to you know because obviously they're like yeah they're up there um so it's them being humble enough to come and say yo let's roll let's make music yeah. let's do the things um so yeah but it's dms dms calls which dm from any big artist that that's ever come your way they were trying to do a song with you and you had to turn it down asking me questions that are too early in my career hey I, look I it's my idea i, I don't know? think i've ever received a dm from someone and turned like someone big and turned it down yeah like i mean you know how like let's say your account <laughs> is on like a 80k follows uh-huh. and someone much bigger that you respect musically and you had to say no to it has never happened like that that's all happen. Never. I make music with literally everyone that I respect. Okay, but let's talk about growth, right? <laughs> yes. Right now, right now, right now, right now. You want, you want, you want, you want to come up, and you, 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 you caught it to being in now. Mm. I think you're in, but you just need to. <laughs> you need that one national yeah. hit. You know yeah. what I mean? And you finna get it. But I want to know this: um, to really cross over into mass market and mm. get the record or get the sort of brand look that you want. Uh, are you willing to to show a bit of skin? That's not me. Like you, everyone has seen this from the beginning. As soon as I got into the industry, everyone yeah. knew that Indigo is not the one to shake her ass on TV. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I'm not that person. I'm the one to come. However, I want to pull up. Mm-hmm. If it's Space Jam, vest, shorts, um, freaking robe, whatever it is, yeah. like whatever I'm inside. I'm not. I'm not trying to. Use other things other than my my music to take me to where I want to be. I mean, you've seen how like not to put names on anyone. You've seen how most women brand themselves. You know, yeah. they and move a certain it's, way. It's, yeah. But yeah. I, what I'm getting to <laughs> uh-huh. is that in, in in a country where a lot of things happen with women, you know, yeah. image perception. <laughs> you're supposed to be show more skin and all that. You know, what what made it crucial for you to go the other route and go your way see you know you said you're supposed to you're not like that's that's just what sells like it's just it just sells more sex sells like everyone knows sex and then why why was it what why didn't you go that route because like i said i don't i don't feel like i need to do that you know i'm not saying that people that do that need to do it Mm. like i've said before But personally, I just don't feel comfortable doing it, and I don't, I don't see why I should just because I'm a female rapper. You know yeah, what I I'm respect saying? that because I think the point <clears throat> I'm driving home is that maybe you might have a word or two to say to any other girl out there. Nah, that's do it. Look, it's your body. Yeah. It's your body. Do whatever the hell you. I'm for it. Yeah. You gotta do it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Do what you gotta do. Do what you wanna do. It's 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 really okay. But for me personally. I don't feel comfortable doing it, and I don't think the world should expect female rappers to do that. Give I them the bars, not skin, nah. It doesn't matter. Give them whatever you want to give them. Just give them something, you know. But like it must it be alright with you. Yeah, it must be alright with you. Must be who you are. It must be what you want to do. Right. Okay. Let's talk about that tattoo. That, that's a nice tattoo. I got this yesterday. It's still. Are scabbing. you for real? It's scabbing. Yeah. What does that mean? What What's that about? The inspiration. <laughs> funny, funny. Um, so this is like the Kobe Bryant um Mamba Ooh. mentality. Oh, right? on the I yeah. Nike. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, the Mamba mentality arrow. I didn't want to get a snake, so I got a dragon. But it's the same thing. <laughs> it's, I mean, a dragon, a dragon for black people. That's the same thing. Yeah, like, for black people, it's, it's the really snakes on the I'm there. We don't know what's going on. But yeah, it's the eight and then the twenty-four in Roman numerals. Okay. Um. Yeah, I didn't want to get a snake. So, so is that all Kobe infused? Twenty-four. Oh, that's yeah, 824 is where he's not where his numbers, his jersey numbers. Oh, nice. When he was playing, and then oh. this is Isaiah um, 41 verse 10. Do not be afraid. He got this like two weeks ago. It's my first tattoo. Oh, so those are your first pieces. Yeah, this is two weeks ago. This is yesterday. No, who did that? The black artist. Shout out to the black artist. He's gonna be so. <laughs> Shout out to him. Shout out to you, crazy black dope. artist. Crazy dope. Crazy dope. Indigo, the club scene back. Um. We want you to perform. You've been performing. Yeah. You're gonna, you got two, you got two hot records. Into, Sorry? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying we need to get back into I've been in album mode, but now we're getting back to the performance. Okay, so you, you're in the circuit hot yeah, this yeah, summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of girls in Joburg. Uh-huh. Um, what about Joburg girl habits do you hate? Let me tell you guys. Yeah, I don't go out. <laughs> uh, but Ingo, you, you're out I'm a, there. I'm a, I'm a homebody. I'm a homebody, man. I yeah. don't, I don't, 
But you're out there. I'm out there, but I don't like. But you and you out there. You out there. You see things. I don't mingle with like everybody. I mingle with my peoples. You know, okay. like my fam, my my team, my friends. But I don't just. I don't. I don't care what people are really doing. Yeah. You know, like habits and. I, maybe I I don't know. No, maybe, say it. Know. You're about to say it. I was gonna say like maybe maybe they they turn up a lot, but that's okay. Like, why is that okay? How have fun? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> do your things. Yeah. <laughs> do what you're gonna do, girl. Yeah. yeah. Do what you're gonna do. Um, what's 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 the what, what's the one thing you hate about the game? Oh, Hip hop yeah. shit. Like the entertainment industry, like don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm for it, I'm in it, but just sometimes it's just so, ugh, like it's fake. And How so fake? <clears throat> people? Yeah, people. Anyone that's in in the entertainment industry can tell you this. Like people, vibes, it's just weird sometimes, you know. Can you like explain like the uh, one thing that you went through, <clears throat> like <clears throat> to explain that now? Just certain, like you know, when when when, because I have a very pure. I hope I don't change, because I'm still new in the industry. But I have a very pure heart, and when I when I when I like put my trust in people and expect them to be good people, I expect them to be good people. And normally, people in the in the industry, yeah, they don't live up to what they what they say they're gonna do, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But now that you got your <laughs> own situation going on in terms of an indie perspective, yeah, and you're working with other brands, you're working with other sort of, you know, record labels. I mean, we didn't see what happened to like, uh, 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 what, 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 what empty and ambitious and stuff. How how are you gonna circumvent that type of shit? Because if you so it's trust the deals, I think it's the deals. Like you can't. The thing is, like like I said, I don't. I trust people, but now I'm in a position where I don't. I don't trust too much. So. I can trust you when when it's a record deal. I have to make sure the the thing I'm signing is the the one that we agreed on because mm -hmm. labels may act tricky and switch up 100%. the contracts. You know, so yeah, I I just make sure that on my side I do everything I can to prevent me from going through something where someone screws me over. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. So in with terms that same label, breath, label chats. So with that same breath, three things you look <laughs> out for when meeting a new person. Um, their vibe. Firstly, just their aura, their whole aura. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a chakra hun. <laughs> okay. Hey, I don't I like chakra hun. What's his house? What's his house? I'm a Scorpio. People don't like Scorpios. Uh, yeah. We're the, We're the best. <laughs> We're the best. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. We're the best. The best. <laughs> but um, yeah. Their, their one. Their aura. Um. <sighs> how they how they act around me. I mean that probably correlates with aura, but just like how they act like you can sense when someone's like on some weird vibes you mm -hmm. know you can sense it and how they treat other people as well like people that that might not be able to do anything for them you get what i'm saying i don't that, get it that, but that's I want, facts no that's facts i, I don't get it but i want to answer i want to ask it like this what's give me a shady character you've met in the game like dog mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just drop a name for the sake of this DM. Oh, well, what, what's on. the shadiest character you made? Like, ah, Rujita? Ah, me, I'm not. The thing is, when I link up with people at parties and stuff, everyone's nice. Oh. And I don't hang out with people. I don't, so I, I can't say, like, you shady, you shit, because I don't know people like that. And I make sure I don't know them like that. You get what I'm saying? Because I don't want to make friends in the industry. I'm not here for that. I'm here for You know what? For the fans. <laughs> for you like i've seen you know online music but yeah. you don't really like put yourself out there a lot like mm -hmm. as in like to let people know exactly a day in indigo's life you know yeah fam all of that I'm introvert I'm uh, introverted. Yeah. okay sometimes you shouldn't give them too much as well yeah but what's the day like in your life a day like in my like i said i'm a homebody <laughs> I'm at home recording 24/7. Come to interviews, go back home, <laughs> record again. I'm just really, I'm yeah. I'm not the part. If I'm going out, I'm performing and I'm getting paid for it. Um, it's a job, like oh. you know what I'm saying. It's, it's not, it's not like like I'm partying and having fun. I mean, I'm having fun when I'm doing it because I love doing it. But at the same time, it's like it's my job, type ish. Yeah. So 
That's that's a day in my life, guys. It's the work kids. So, uh, that's fortunate. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not that. It's not that's that fortunate because that's how you get those Puma deals now. You know oh, yeah, those, yeah, <laughs> those vlogs are coming out too, though. Uh, you guys are going to see. You yeah, guys are going to see. Like, you see this? Uh -huh. Yeah, the vlogs are coming out too. Okay. You guys okay. should check those out. On okay. YouTube. Okay. Beautiful. Since you're a trustworthy person, how do you, how do you feel when people blue tick your WhatsApp? Uh, no, but people. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> that's 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 no, but people you really want to like reach out to, like somebody you really need I to talk shy, to. Then it's and I'm people shy. have blue ticked me before. And I'm just like, oh, okay. There goes another one. I'm just like, <laughs> okay, cool. Let's move on. You know, let's move on. But it's it's not it's not that crazy. I don't take it personally. Yeah. How much how how much has your has your has your circle changed? And not from a management perspective or your team, just your circle. Friendships. Friendships. Relationships. Are you in one? <laughs> no. Okay. Why? No. Oh wait, 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 wait. So you're telling us that homebody. Homebody. No kisses. Netflix no and chills. No. 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 I, I, no, I, I, no. 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 I mean, ever since this whole chat started, there was never you never so, started up until now. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> But like yes, that, yes that's sir. also Thai, you know. <laughs> As using the lingo, um, no, I'm I'm very very much um single because I want to be. I don't I don't relationships are guys. Relationships are a whole nother job. Like it's a job. Okay. It's a job. That's understandable. But you when know? when was you like your last relationship? Last year. Before. That's recent. I mean. God, that's now. That's, that's last before week. COVID. That's last, last week. <laughs> oh, before, no, no, before COVID, and that's last year. Yeah, that's last year. Okay, cool. Who was the guy? Was he in the? Is he in the game? We no, out no, the no, game. No, 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 I cannot. I cannot date someone that's in the. That. Mm -hmm. ah, so they mentioned the bruise name. You know what I mean? George. Okay. Uh, so what happened really between you and George? That. What did George? Well, what did George do? What like what what? Yeah. What 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 did George do? You know, you know, COVID times, yeah. just like long distance and not being able to see, you know, what's happening, uh -huh. see each other. It's very tricky. Okay. It's very tricky. So I want to, when, when I'm in a relationship, I want to be in a relationship where I know, okay, this is the one, 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 one. You know, like we're going to get married. I don't want to just be And George was not about that. Indigo, you no, ready like to we get just, married. We just weren't. No, but uh, the person I want to date should be the person I want to marry. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have... But Indigo, no, no, no. Hold up, girl. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is hip-hop. Yeah. Right? This is hip-hop. How you gonna... How you gonna... How you gonna... She wants love in hip-hop. <laughs> <laughs> she wants a boat. Indigo, how you gonna rap and be out here and really go for these trophies mm -hmm. with an expectation that the nigga you gonna... The next dude that's gonna come into your life... Because a lot of... Mm -hmm. See, here's the thing. A lot of changes mm -hmm. are still gonna happen in your life. Yeah. You're gonna go from like to be super national to be super continental, yeah. and from recent developments with recent national stars, we haven't seen how the game is. Yeah, you know what I mean. And this expectation of the one, I mean, is it is it, is it a realistic expectation? Yeah, I mean, you never know. That's the thing. Like you, ne you actually uh, never know. Hey, look, that's our opinion, I could man. George almost became the hey, one. George almost became the one. Okay, so <laughs> let's. I'm gonna switch it up. What type of what type of what type of what type of guy tickles your fantasy? Let's, let's 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 draw let's draw him out. Like what type of guy? Let's paint George. <laughs> <laughs> let's paint um, George. Yeah, I hate I hate like telling my physical type because people always find a problem with that. But just someone. No 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 no. This is you. That's, that's, that's not the preference. people. Forget that's your people. preference. Just Talk someone, you. just someone that I click with, you know, on a on a spiritual level and an emotional level and an intellectual level. And then normally, I I don't know why, but tall, tall. I'm gonna just say tall guys. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. Uh, we got it. I got you. I'm not gonna say too much. They got something. They got something. No, I'm short though. I'm very short. Okay. So also, you wanna you wanna look up like that? You wanna look. Guys, I'm making mistakes now. Yo, what it do? It's your girl Indigo Stella, and I'm here with my DMs podcast. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share, all of that. Catch me on the socials at Indigo Stella. You know.